Good morning. Another sunny day in New Mexico. This is now May. Flowers on most of the hedgehogs are past. Uh, now we're getting into the prickly pears. They start blooming. Yeah, start blooming already. Here's a cute little cactus I want Danielle to zero in on. This is called Coryphantha vivipara. It's a species found in Arizona. And it's interesting because it takes multiple forms. There are multiple varieties. And we're going to look at another variety in just a minute. But before we get to that one, here is a very, very spiny yucca, or choya rather, from the Mojave, called Wiggins choya. And it's interesting because it has green flowers. And this one is about to have a lot of flowers. Okay. Disappear, disappear. This is the same genus and species as the one we looked at first. This is a Coryphantha vivipara. You can see how different the shape and the form of it is. Uh, and they're just two different varieties of one species. Okay, now we'll head for one that's not quite blooming yet. Yucca is sending up a flower stalk. You can't really call that thing a flower. It's in in uh, botanical terms, it's an inflorescence, which means that it's a whole stem covered with flowers. Right this side, it's going to be a little harder to see. The ocotillo, bright red, is beginning to bloom. That's a real favorite with hummingbirds. Unfortunately, the ocotillo doesn't bloom for very long, and it doesn't bloom all summer long. Okay, now we're going to take a walk. And I'm going to try to answer a question by someone that uh, responded to one of the videos. Which is, how do we decide what to plant in the Arboretum? Mostly that decision is made by the Fish and Wildlife Service these days. The rules have become fairly restrictive and we can, we're supposed to only plant things in the refuge that are found on the refuge already. Most of this arboretum was created 20 years ago when the rules were a little bit more relaxed. And so we have species from the Chihuahua Desert, from the Sonoran Desert, from the Mojave Desert, uh, even uh, from Big Bend, which is technically the Chihuahua Desert. Who takes care of the arboretum? Well, that's Danielle, Oop, that's me, and Lee Spargo are the primary caretakers for the arboretum. Let's just take a quick look at the primrose. It's a little past for today. The flowers uh, fold up after just one day, but this uh, primrose is doing really well. This is part of the pollinator project, which we got money for to, to create, build the fences and plant the flowers. This is a plant that is found all over New Mexico and all over the refuge. This is four-wing saltbush, and this is the flower. All those little furry things you see are the flowers. And it will produce multiple seeds, thousands of seeds per plant. Lastly, we'll have to get a little bit closer to this. This is a Santa Fe Choya. And you see the white spots on this. Some of you in your plants at home will have in your house plants will have mealybugs and if you have choya or prickly pear outside you might have cochineal. So a cochineal is a little insect similar to a mealybug. It spins this cottony web around it to protect it from drying out and protect it from predation. Now inside there is a little it's about, probably about the size of a poppy seed. A little bug. 
that produces a bright red dye that the Aztecs and probably other Mexican Indians even up into this area used for red dye for their cloth. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, I'd like to have questions if you have uh, things that you are curious about, if you think I need to give you more explanation about things, um, just respond to the Facebook page and we will try to get your questions answered. Okay, see you next